And in this video, we are going to deploy app service. Then we are going to connect it with the external uh, Git, that is our GitHub. We are utilizing the GitHub from the Microsoft documentation for the code of the application that we are deploying in the app service. And then uh, just for the uh, purpose of utilizing the configuration, we'll do some change in the application configuration, which will start showing on the application page, the main page. Then we are going to set up the auto scaling on the app services, uh, not the manual, but the custom one where we are going to apply some rules to increase the instance count as per the rule and decrease once the rule match for the decreasing of uh, instance. Uh, and we do that with the help of a load CPU, which is inbuilt in the application. You just need to click on it. I'll share the link for the GitHub in the uh, description, you can utilize this and perform the lab. So let me share my screen and go through all the steps one by one. So uh, what are the steps we are going to perform? Let me write the steps down. Create web app, though I've already said it, but to be uh, go step by step, let me write it down here and, and you can capture it and perform your own lab deploy github application through the deployment center external we'll do it then uh, we'll apply the application configuration and then we are going to set up uh, auto scale or or custom scaling all right and then Uh, we are going to apply the load. And finally, we'll clean the resources. Okay, so this is what we are going to perform. So let's get started. So this is the Azure portal. Uh, this is the Kubernetes that we were working on the previous lab. So let's click on create app service and follow the process we have already created the a huge playlist for the app services if you guys want to learn more about the app services apart from this lab you can check the playlist uh, on my channel so let's quickly create a resource group and we can call it app uh, rg or anything that you'd like because we need resource group for each and every resource we not to be able to give it a name let me call it uh, app service demo 003 uh, we need to choose the runtime stack here we can choose uh, docker container as well but for this particular uh, application we are going to choose uh, net5 net6 and let's deploy it in let's east us okay I don't have any plan and we know we need to deploy the app service in the plan. So it's going to create the standard as well plan for me. Uh, do not create the free or shared. I don't think we have the auto scaling option in that plan. So we need to go with the S1. Just click on uh, create, review and create and it will create your app services. Let's click on create. We have the resource. Let's click on this resource and you can see this is the app service if i click here it will give me the default page of azure app service as you can see so for this lab the first part is done which is create app service and the second part was deploy the github application for, to do that we need to go to the deployment center Deployment Center has many ways to deploy your code to the app services. And we will going to choose uh, external Git. And we can give the URL of, of the application, which is 
uh, residing in the GitHub repository. So within a couple of seconds, I have this deployment center in front of me. And if I click on this drop down, you can see the multiple sources that you can utilize for the deployment on a deployment center. But we are going to deploy GitHub application. So it's external GitHub. We need to uh, provide the uh, URL of the repository. And I'll share it in the description box. This is the URL, which is the Microsoft's uh, GitHub URL. You need to give the name. It, though it says main, but you need to write it down manually, else it won't accept it. And then you need to click on save. This is a public repository. You can use it. All right, so once uh, this is done, it will deploy the application. And if you'll go and refresh the page, you will find the new page, the welcome page uh, of the custom application that we have deployed through uh, with the help of GitHub in the deployment center. So let's wait for one or two minutes. Let me pause. All right, so I just waited for two minutes. Let me get back to this page and refresh it. There we go. This is the application. And you can increase the load to test your auto scanning from right here. So this is the custom application. So it has deployed now. Now, what we need to do, we need to check uh, the settings under configuration. From, from here, you can also uh, apply the connection string for your application right here. You can click here and you can give the uh, name and value for the connection string. But here we are going to apply the application settings and uh, what I'm gonna do, it's, uh, it's uh, I'm gonna provide the name and the value. This is the variable, okay? And I'm gonna give it a name like, share talks so it will start uh, showing on this welcome page it will append itself uh, here and if I refresh it once I will save it it will take a few seconds and it will start displaying here it will append after the welcome message and this web app does not require a uh, any additional configuration to work just use it as it is the url okay so if i go and refresh it you can see here it start saying what we added in the application setting so that's how it works connection string i already showed you so now let's go to scale out or scale up we know the difference. It has already been talked about in the previous videos. So this is for app service plan scaling up. It's a vertical scale where you are uh, moving to the higher uh, plan. For example, we are in the S1. If we go to S2, we are scaling up S3, S4, S5. Right? It has the feature of auto scaling. That's what we need. But if you click on uh, dev test ones, you would not find uh, the auto scaling feature. So remember using standard S1. And scale out is something which will give us more instances to run our application. Uh, and whatever, because you know, we, we can run multiple uh, application in a single plan, right? So if you're using uh, two or three or maybe four instance count, all the application would be running on that instance count. So we have a manual scale, we have auto scale. And why it's custom? Because you have to provide some kind of condition uh, on which the Azure or Microsoft or App Service will scale your uh, instances for the App Service to run the App Service, app service as, as uh, needed. So you click on uh, auto scale. Uh, gave the name you can change the name that's fine we are not here to learn how to write a name but the scaling so here is the rule you can click on uh, 
let's instance limit let me give it two right and add the rule here uh the only thing we need to do here is let me make it little less 50 uh and duration of minutes let me call it two minutes uh it doesn't take two minimum should be five so five minutes now <clears throat> cooldown uh, is is five minutes again and it is increase count by one instance that simply means if the uh, cpu this is what it is cpu matrix it is loading right now uh, but it is if the cpu is uh, consumed more than 50 percent for five minutes it will increase the instance count okay i don't know why it's taking time but sometimes it does that so this is the rule for scaling up. Similarly, we need to also add a rule for scaling down. So if the uh, if the CPU percentage is normal for five minutes, we we can decrease the count to one. Okay. So CPU percentage right here, and everything seems to click on add. Okay, this is our scaling up more than 50% for five minutes. Increase count by one. Similarly, you can add another rule here, uh, which simply says, uh, let me let's 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 call it. Uh, we said greater than uh, in the in the rule to increase the count, and we can simply use a different matrix right which is less than less than less than how much less maybe let's call is uh 40 maybe 30 maybe duration minutes let me call it the minimum one five minutes and increase we need decrease count by one okay so it will wait for five minutes if the uh, percentage of CPU uh, is high, then it will increase count by one. Then it will wait again five minutes. Th that's how we add the conditions. And if I click on add rule again, you, you have it's not only the CPU, you have other matrices as well that you can choose from here. You see that? CPU is the easy to uh, perform the lab with, to be honest. So that's why we chose it. And it has saved, but it should be chosen very carefully as per your application need. It is not always be the CPU. You could have other aspects related to your application that needed to be uh, in, kept in consideration. All right, so if I go back here under the overview and we browse our application, we have this and from here we can generate the CPU load. Let me click here a couple of times. That's fine. And if I go back here and <clears throat> if I click here, it says two. You see that instant count increased by two. It's scale up result succeeded a minute ago try this lab in your uh in your azure subscription and it, it will really helpful well thank you for watching and you guys have a good day let's meet in another lab with some different scenario take care